Howdy there, partner. It's your boy Jose from Nexus Core, bringing you a duck profile, this time on Grand Blues. Is anyone else surprised that I'm not doing a Dragon Empire one? I sure am. Anyways, let's start it. Guiding Zombie. When road upon, draw a card. Next, I run four King of Demonic Seas Bass Kirk. Fun fact. Miles ordered three of them for me, he ordered three VRs, and they accidentally sent him two VRs and a SVR. So, God, so shout out to whoever uh, sent them. Anyways, his skill is, during your turn, if your drop zone has ten or more cards, this unit gets plus, 10K and an, plus 5k and an extra crit. Sorry, it's not waterfall. Anyways, oh, sorry. Second skill is, uh, once per turn, counterblast one, soul blast one. Call a unit uh, from your drop zone to the rear guard. Obviously. Obviously calling it to the rear guard. Uh, this unit, Bass Crick, gains plus t uh, 5k for each grade of that unit. So if it's grade 1, 5k, grade 2, 10k, and so on. That's like the only thing you want to ride is Vanguard. Next, we run. One of our win conditions, uh, Dragon and Dead Skull Dragon, continuous, uh, cannot be called from hand. Uh, second continuous, Vanguard or Rearguard, this unit gets 2k for each card in your drop zone. It's a big beefy boy in the mid to late game. And uh, finally, after the battle that it attacked, retire it. Next, I run another of the uh, two grade threes of Zombie Hulk. His skill is uh, once per turn, so I'll blast a grade 3. Discard any number of cards from your hand. This unit gets plus 5k until the end of turn. And uh, for each card uh, that you discarded, your opponent cannot uh, call a card to the Guardian Circle with that grade. So ideally, you discard a grade 0 and a grade 1, and boom, they can only guard with 5k's. <sighs> That's it for grade 3's, on to grade 2's. I run four Ruin Shade. I wish these were ORs, but I am saving my money for a, a fully hollowed out Narukami deck. Talk to me about Tectonics and how good it is in the comments, please. When this its skill is Vanguard or Rearguard, when this unit attacks, put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone, and this unit gets 4k for each of them until. Ooh, my bad. It's 4k until the end of that battle. And then during your turn, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, this unit gets plus 4k. Next we run for Captain Nightmist. This boy's skill is Counterblast 1, call a grade 1 or less from your drop zone or rear guard circle. If your drop zone has 10 or more cards, you can call regardless of the grade. So again, what I usually call with him is um Dragon Undead Skull Dragon in case I like... I don't know, cause just because it's a big beefy boy. Or if it's like early game and I can't call that out because I don't have 10 cards in drop zone, I'll call like uh, Norman the Ghosty. That's one of the cards that I call. Anyways, what are my final grade twos? I run. Oh, my bad. Commodore Blue Blood. Skill is during your turn, if you have a Commodore Blue Blood in the drop zone, this unit gets 4k. And when its attack hits the vanguard, retire this unit, draw two cards, and then discard one card from your hand. I like it because it provides a uh, pressure for your opponent. Um, yeah. It's the only reason I like it. I beef him up with Norman the Ghosty. And what else? Oh yeah, you add to your drop zone units. If it hits next, we run for... Uh, Dandy Guy Romario, the only card you want to ride at grade 1. If you don't see it in your opening hand, you redraw 5. Skill is uh, rear guard circle, drop zone if your uh, rear guard circle. If your drop zone has 10 or more cards, this unit gets plus 4k. Second skill is auto when rode upon, counterblast 1 and put a card from your hand into your soul. Put the top 3 cards of your deck into your drop zone and return 1 card from your drop zone into your hand. Now with this, I... Um, a lot of the times it's helped me get out of grade lock, because, ironically, I'm usually grade locked at grade 2. Or it, like, helps me search out my Baskirk, which, a few times it just gets billed, so. There we go. It's pretty cool. One of my favorite cards. 
I've always liked them, even in the original series. Next we run four Dancing Cutlass. Skill is bind another drop zone, bind another Dancing Cutlass from your drop zone, and put the top card of your deck into your drop zone. Call this card from uh, rear guard, and then counter charge one. Counter charging is nice. Next I run uh, Norman the Ghosty. Skill is Retire this unit and put two, the top two cards of your deck into your drop zone. Put, give one of your other units 10k until the end of the turn. So I usually just give the 10k to like... Uh, Commodore Blue Blood. What's his name? The fucking Night Mist, even though he's gonna die the following turn if I call him. Or even my Vanguard if I just want to uh, push for game. Or better yet, just give it a Zombie Hulk. That'll help push, ah, push for game. Next final grade ones I run are uh, two evil shade. I rarely use its skill, but when I do, it's okay. Skill is uh, counter blast one and bind one card from your drop zone. Call a card with the same name as the bound unit uh, from your drop zone or rear guard circle. I'd replace this with. I was considering replacing this with um, what's that thing called the. 7k grade 1 with 15k shield just for the shield value and if we ever get a samurai spirit I'll re probably replace it with that so I can recycle my dancing cutlasses anyways finally we're at the grade zeros I run for gust of gin uh, yeah. shout out to anybody who remembers when PG's were like Fucking twenty dollars a piece. I remember. God, bad times, my guy. Bad times. Next, I run four Knight Spirit. Uh, yeah, fucking Ghost Rider looking ass. I don't know what a knight is doing in the ocean though. Should be in Gold Paladin. Yo. Grand Blue Sub Clan with knights in it. Make it happen, Bushi. Or you know what? Just a ghost clan. That's all I want. Like, holy shit. How have they not done this? Anyway, four mortal mimic. It's one of my favorite criticals. Just look at it. We've never had a mimic before. It's pretty nice. Play. I watch a lot of D&D live streams and... Like, they're always running into mimics. That's pretty fucking cool. Finally, I run four of my boy Richard the Ghosty. Uh, thank you for the editing, my guy. May you rest in peace. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for my deck profile. If you have any questions, leave them down below. They probably won't get answered, but whatever. I'll show my gift markers that are nothing special, I guess. Oh, well, I lost one of them. Here. Uh... Protect markers, and then uh, when I'm at locals, I run my Super Saiyan Hercule because he's a cool dude. Thanks, Tristan, for that one. Anyway, that's it. Uh, any of our, my any of our subs down there playing Red Dead Redemption 2? Can y'all tell me about it in the comments? I need someone to talk to, and all of my friends are losers and don't want to play it. Thank you and goodbye.